I just don't think I'll be able to sleep at night without that thing being cleaned up. I've been clearing a path all day. I ordered a dumpster from the nearest town. It's like 30 miles away. I found somebody who'd bring me a dumpster and I'm hoping they can get it close enough back here that I can actually clean out the survival bunker. I've been working hard and I'm just crossing my fingers he can get his big truck through this opening I created. <sighs> Come check it out. The only part I'm worried about is right here. It's pretty tight and it's on an angle. I can get my truck through here, but you know, dump trucks with roll-offs are pretty huge. So I'm hoping I made this wide enough for him to get back here because the bunker is right here and I wouldn't have to haul stuff so far. Uh, it's about as close as I can get it, but we'll see. Hopefully he can fit in the space, fingers crossed. So it's a no-go, he can't get down that trail. It's just gonna suck bad. This is major overkill, but the option was a 30 yard dumpster or like an eight. <laughs> there was no in between. So I took the big one. You know, the huge bummer is I have to, I have to transport it from my truck to the dumpster. It's just gonna add a lot, but you know, just gonna dig in, get it done. We'll start tomorrow. I'm done. I've been clearing all day. Keep smiling. Love my bunker. Beautiful day to work on a really gross project, but it's got to happen. I want it cleaned up. So today's the only nice day in the forecast for quite a while. Going to try to get a lot done today. I mean, I'm going to be here. It's going to be a long day, but I'm ready to do it. Checks unloaded. I've got tarps laid down. Stuff goes in here. Drive it to the dumpster unload come back it's gonna be my day i'm gonna start with these two by fours they're going out first i'm gonna tear that roof off get rid of the two by fours that we already took off and then start with the garbage and there's this you know old rotted stuff too might throw that on the burn pile Good progress. All right, first load. Here we go. Gonna make some progress now. First thing I need to do, I need to get the rest of that roof out. I gotta get that tarp out. Then I can start digging out. Oh gosh, these are heavy. Yeah, some propane. Uh. This part is so heavy because of all the, I don't know, concrete stucco topping. It's a delicious cherry topping. Empty water jugs. Get these out of here. Or pea jugs. I know what you're thinking. I know. Don't stand up there. I gotta get this down. Down. Stuck right here, a big pocket of concrete. Let me load. Okay, there's the tarp finally. I think I'm gonna need a shower. a drinking game. This video, every time I say yuck, you take a drink. Yuck, 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 yuck. There you go, there's four shots. <laughs> All right. 
out, out she goes. The tarp has been birthed. I will say too, to add to the joy, it's a nice hot day. Some of you guys were interested in this food. So let's take a look at the dates and uh, take a look at some of this food. As far as prepping goes, interesting to know like what would last. So let's see, raisins, 1994. So that's been a while. Those are definitely soggy. Prunes. September 95. Obviously, you're not expecting much out of a carton of prunes. Oh, wow. They smell fine. I mean, that's gross. This carton. But I would eat these. <laughs> They smell just like prunes, like, and they look like prunes. The, con kiss the consistency is just right, huh? It's totally fine. I'd eat that if I was desperate. Tastes just fine. All right, there we go. Food treasure. <laughs> All right, mac and cheese, although, you know, it got wet, I can still hear that the macaroni is fine. What about peanuts? I mean, peanuts go rancid pretty quick, but these have been completely sealed. The date is 95, so let's, let's try a peanut. See if something in a glass container. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, those smell just fine. Totally fine. Absolutely fine. I would definitely eat those. And there's all these jars, five jars of them. I'm really surprised they didn't go rancid, but they were so sealed. It's hard to find peanuts like that anymore. Those are good. A lot of jars. That's five. Ugh. So rice. It's in a bag. Of course it's in a bag. And I, I'm sure that's fine. The macaroni looks fine. Granola, definitely no. Muesli, definitely no. Oh, look at that. Car Safeway. That's he went shopping at Safeway. So, more sunflower seeds, which you cannot store long term at all. What is this? Quick oats. Sell by May 12th, 88. I'm sure these are gross, but, you know. If I found these here, I'd eat them. These tend to go rancid too. So 
so that, you can't do that long term. Some granola, more granola. Of course, that's not going to be any good. Scored some peanuts. Food treasure. <laughs> Five jars of dry roasted peanuts. I'm gonna use this for a bunch of scraps. This would be good for the, the junk that would rip a bag, but I'm ready to get this thing out of here. My bag of bags, woohoo! Definitely need to go on the treasure table. Okay, oh, I see another roll of bags. All right, just thought I was out. Oh. That squirrel nest made himself at home there. Ooh, look at all the space. <laughs> oh, that's disgusting, man. Wow. Okay, here we go. Okay. Nice pot. There we go. All right, we started to get into the interior corner. I mean, I don't know where this guy was gonna be because there's just so much stuff in here. I guess it was just stuffed full of stuff. But here's an action packer. Let's see what it is. Oh, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Also this galvanized tub full of water and goop and who knows what. Some dishes. Treasure. Broken. Spoon, huh? Right? Huh? We got a spoon. Ugh. Yuck. All right, this one's full of water too. Oh, oh, and this one just reeks. Oh, must have been food. That, that is, that is bad. Oh, oh my goodness. Chair. Sit and gaze at the loveliness. Canned food is a no-go. It all exploded and disintegrated. For once, I'm glad there's no smell-o-vision because you don't want to smell this. It's just as you imagine. Here's another one. I'm not draining it. Can't speck the land. Ugh. Isn't that nice? It's, it's awesome. stuff. It'd be nice to open this door so I wouldn't have to go all the way around. Get stuff out of here. So I'm working my way that way. Shirts. Everything is in a bag. So 
socks, underwear in a bag. In a bag. And I think this is gonna hold up. Oh yeah, Bella. Oh yeah, she's good. She's good. There's so much drenched toilet paper. I mean, and it's heavy. So much of it. Oh, there's a boot. Throw the other boot in there. Drag that out. All right, third load. Like, I gotta get this out of here. It's like, smells like a combination of uh, cow manure and puke. Like, it's, I gotta get it out of my space. All these are full of just goo. By the way, Lucy's here too. <laughs> He's just been chilling. He knows. Good spot to hang out. Hi, baby. Let's go make our deposit. Alright, just got back from a dump run. Here's a suitcase. Oh, look at that. In bags. Maybe there's money. Can you put money in bags? Oh, that's just... That's a horrible nightmare back there. Oh, boy, that, that is not good. Well, let's see what's in this one. I'm so ready to see something dry. Here's the, here's the payoff. Oh, no, no. <laughs> the guy liked peanuts. Oh, yeah. More goo. Gosh, darn. This corner just has so much material. Books and magazines and paper towel and, and toilet paper. It's just all saturated and heavy and just, it's a nightmare. And this goop... I, this is so heavy, I can't even move it yet. Oh, I can't believe I have to do this, but I can't lift this thing up. I've got to fish some stuff out of it, which is just horrifying. Rice. I've got spaghetti out of here so far. Whatever this is, long grain rice. More spaghetti. That's as much as that bag will hold. Hopefully, I'll get this thing out of here now. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. And this is so heavy. This is Philip's Planisphere. Shows the principal stars visible for every hour in the year. Huh. Elliptical orbits. This guy must have been into the solar... Ooh. Oh, hey! Hey, look at this. Ammo. Finally found some ammo. Oh, gosh. Bag full of old, wet ammo. It's so rusty and bad. There's a lot of it, too. Wow. Rifle cleaning kit. A treasure. Oh, my gloves are so gooey, I can't even open this. It's disgusting. Well, All right, here's load number four. And it is just as bad as you would think it'd be. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel it. This corner is just taking its toll on me. Heavy, wet, many trips. But I got that container out of here. Let's see about this door opening. Oh, was I definitely need my hammer. Okay, we got it. Oh, dude. This whole frame is out. Very 
very heavy door. Daylight. Oh, that will make it a lot easier getting stuff out of here. Hate this corner. Hate you. Hate all of you. Oh. There is just nothing, nothing good about this place. Oh, hey, look at that. Brand new tidy whiteies. Maybe Dave would like those. <laughs> only thing dry and salvageable is underwear. You have to be kidding me. Books, books, and more books. He just got, was just a prepper. He just was storing stuff. There's no way he could do anything in here. It was packed full of stuff. Yeah. Yuck. All right, I am full up. I need a load delivered. So this guy was totally like a physics nerd and like scientific American. He's got German, Chinese language translations. He's got organic laboratory techniques, electronics made simple, electricity made simple. Ask his heritage. Organic chemistry, microbial life. Tomorrow, life at the edge, superconduct activity, ah. economics, fundamental euro neuro, euro neuro anatomy, penguin atlas, of North American history. This guy, I bet he was a, super fun at parties. <laughs> Adam in the void. Quantitative analysis. Whatever that is, it's big. And it's like the, oh, nutrition book. Science in the making of the modern world. Wow. Pretty heavy reading. Just thrilling. And down to the nitty gritty. Easy. Hey, <laughs> giant roll of bags. I do mean giant. Whoa, he knew I was gonna need them. This place is disgusting. More treasures, yay. Oh, gets too heavy. Weird. It's a typewriter. <laughs> Let's check it out. To my knees. <laughs> Look at that. It works. Oh wow, that's crazy. A little typewriter. Brand new. Well, it was. Extra spool of ribbon. So this tub was full of empty propane bottles. I don't know if they leaked or they were empty to begin with. Oh man. It's gonna get heavy. 
very quickly though, so. All right, all I got left is the floor. Wow, big progress. It is no longer full of junk. I mean, there's so much on the ground yet to get, but she's empty for the most part, which took seven truckloads in a 30 yard dumpster. I'm gonna have to take these to the transfer station and put them in the hazardous waste area. And, you know, got a few more things. Okay, here's the treasure table today. Two tarps, a bowl, a plate. The bag of bags already had pot. Typewriter. Rough rifle cleaning kit. I did find out who owned this place. James Clifford Fairbanks. Got some peanuts. Oh, and let's not forget the size 36 tidy whities. That's like the nicest thing that came out of this place. And a stove. So this is the previous treasure bucket. I'll just throw everything in there and wrap it up for the day. That's what that cabin looks like in a dumpster. And this is a 30 yard dumpster. It's huge. Just packed full of junk. Nothing good. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, I'm back. It's been for a long walk and oh, I'm just soaked to the bone, but I wanted to at least have a fun moment before I dig in. I'm gonna, today's like a cool day. Um, I'm gonna finish up the floor. Gonna get that stuff out of here while I still have this dumpster. All that concrete, whatever it was, it needs to go. So uh, unfortunately, I need to do that first before I can do the fun stuff, which is the stuff I love to do, which is improving the land. I'm gonna cut in a trail up to the ridge and I'm gonna start opening up that ridge and getting rid of the willows and the junk up there. Get that place just looking great. That is what I really love to do is land improvement. And I'm looking forward to that. But first, that's like the reward after I finish the junky bunker. So I got breakfast from the gas station <laughs> about 30 miles away. I'm gonna eat some breakfast, share it with Moose and get started. Hey, not bad. Of course, what it needs is salsa and ketchup. Should be good. That's what the whole brookie needs. Some salsa in her life. Yeah. Thank you so much for this fabulous break in the weather that I can get this wrapped up today. I'm so thankful for my strength that you've given me, the blessings you give us. Pray for those watching. Give them hope and peace and love, Lord. Know that you are everything they need. I thank you for this beautiful blue sky day, at least half the day. Thank you for this food. In Jesus' name, amen. So do you guys want a taste of this? It's really, it's really not bad. Alaska gas station food. You want a bite? I'll give you the first bite. Yeah? Okay. Here's some eggs with salsa. Open up. Take a bite. Oh, what's he? You want your sausage? It's a sausage for little little nugget man. Oh man, I can't tell you how much I don't want to be in here doing this, but I got that dumpster. I gotta use it while I can. The problem is, this stuff is so heavy. And I can only put a little bit in each container and drag it to my truck and then dump it. It's just going to be a lot, a lot of trips. But a little bit of this is quite heavy. So that's going to be my load. Be my load every time. They can only be about that full. It's going to be a lot of trips.
finally broke. But look at this. I'm on my last scoop or two. So it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. I am finally at the end of this massive, disgusting project. Where now, it's potential. You gotta clean up the junk before you can start with potential. So happy. This has been a nightmare. Have some rafters here on the edge I gotta take out, but man, it's nothing compared to what I've dealt with. I think the important thing for me on this one is to just know it's going to just be slow and it's just gonna take what it'll take and to just roll with it. There's no way to rush it. There's no way to make it go faster. There's no way to cut the trips to make it easier. It just is what it is. It's just kind of a grind. But here I am at the end. Yep. about it man look at this it's empty and the bad news is there was definitely fuel leaked all over so there's a terrible fuel smell in here that I'll need to get like kitty litter or sawdust and soak it all up and, and do another round of just getting stuff out of here because I mean it stinks in here it smells like that soup goop stuff from all the cans in the buckets but also it just smells like fuel oil in here, like kerosene and just who knows what. This is what you call a survival bunker miracle. <laughs> oh gosh. Unbelievable. That rafter's here and here. Tear this place out. <laughs> oh man, that's better, huh? Still feels like a jail. <laughs> so one thing, one question we got asked when we first got here, this was in the window and <laughs> it works. We've established that this was probably around 93, 95. This guy was here and somebody's like, well, tell me what brand of batteries are in there if they lasted so long. So they're uh, ever ready. Super heavy duty. Actually says they're made in the USA. I don't find any kind of date on them. Ever ready, super heavy duty. So there you go. That's the flashlight batteries that 27 years later still work. Okay, here is the completely cleaned out, finished bunker. Just days and hours of toil. <laughs> it pays off. This is the sweat equity part. So now will be the fun part of figuring out what to do with this, this building this space so that's the fun part i cleaned up around the land too i picked up any junk that i could see go this way that one was a little stiff i'll get that out some other time but i can't even hardly recognize this this is much more cleaned up and there it is looking back Absolutely amazing that it cleaned up as much as it did. Now I can actually imagine myself doing something with this. Whereas when it's just a pile of junk, it's really hard to wrap your head around it. 
I'll have to come back in here one more time. I've got a full load and I still have this stuff here. So I'll have to get rid of that. And then I've got to take the gas and propane out, but that's it, man. That's it. All right, this is it. Final load. That's it. Yes. That is a full dumpster. 30 yards, right to the edge. That's it, it's a wrap. Hope you like the video, I'll see you in the next one. Scroll in the woods, she gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get half. I am just so happy. I can't believe it's done. I can't believe I did it. <laughs>